Hi, this is Rainbow Unicorn Cat 1. This is the second video in the series of reviewing Claudie's collection. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll put the link in the description below. I already viewed Claudie herself and her meat accessories. Today I'm going to unbox her pajamas, her jazz outfit, dress up accessories, and her dog Dizzy Dot. By the way, if you're new to my channel and interested in all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday and Saturday, but right now I'm posting every day. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. I'm going to start with Claudie's yellow balloon pajamas. They currently retail at $36. The pajamas are yellow with a purple floral print. The style is quite unusual. It's a one piece and it has an attached belt. I think it's super adorable. It's so different from everything else we've had so far. The buttons are strictly decorative. The only way to open this piece is from the back. All the details are nicely done. I really like the collar and the little pocket. There's a stretchy band in the pajamas, so it fits better on the doll. The ruffles on the sleeves look very nice. Overall, this jumper is very well made and detailed. I really like the ruffles on the sleeves. The fabric is a nice cotton. It's definitely a natural material, not synthetic. It feels like American Girl is really going back to their roots with Claudie's collection. The way it was designed is perfect. I'm kind of disappointed the way that Claudie was marketed. I'm gonna make a separate video about it cause it's kind of upsetting for fans. I think the bunny slippers are absolutely adorable. Can they be any cuter than this? These are probably the cutest pajama slippers that American Girl has ever made. They're made out of soft faux fur. It kind of feels like fleece. This set comes with the purple head wrap. It's sewn together, there's no way to untie it, but it has a stretchy part in the back for an easier fit. The material feels very silky and luxurious, even though it's not real silk. I put it in Claudie very carefully. I decided not to put all of her hair in. I was really afraid to ruin her beautiful curls, but I can see that all of her hair will fit there. I love the combination of yellow and purple. If you don't know, they're complementary colors, which means they're on the opposite side of the color wheel. Here's a booklet that comes with this set. I really like that American Girl's including these lately. It tells you about Claudie's bedtime routine. She shares her room with her little brother, Jody. Before she goes to sleep, Jody convinces her to make a puppet show for him. That sounds really cute. It even has a picture of the puppets in the backdrop. I'm surprised American Girl didn't make a set like this. I'm definitely gonna make one for myself. Please let me know in the comments if I should video record it and make a craft video about it. This is everything that came in the box, and I love how these pajamas are so different from other pajamas. They're good quality with a very unique look. Whoever designed them did a very good job. I'm very impressed. Next, I'm going to unbox this cute little puppy. Her name is Dizzy Dot, and she's mixed breed. She belongs to Miss Amelia, who manages the boarding house. She currently retails at $30. This dog has some unruly hair out of the box, but it's super easy to fix. The fur feels really, really soft. Here she is after a quick makeover. I think she looks super adorable. One of the cutest pets that American Girl made.
Dotty and Dizzy Dot really get along well. Please let me know in the comments if you have a pet dog. And if you do, what is his or her name? Next, I'm going to open this jazz performance outfit. It retails at $36. This is not something a girl in 1920s would wear every day. But Claudia takes dance lessons, so she'd need to wear something like this for a performance. I'm actually quite impressed with this dress. In the first leaked images, it looked wrinkled and pretty cheap. The fabric felt like it came from AliExpress, but the actual dress feels very nicely made. The fabric is very substantial. It's not thin or flimsy. There are a lot of ruffles and they're very well made. I think this is a really, really pretty dress. These are supposed to be tap shoes and American Girl definitely nailed the look. They're very cute and I like the accent colors. And look at this little teardrop cut out at the side. These shoes are not real tap shoes. They don't have the metal parts in their soles. If you have Molly's tap shoes then you know those used to have metal parts in the bottoms. These don't which is a little disappointing. But they're still super cute. <laughs> The set also comes with this headband and a bow. Its color matches the color of the dress. I think it's really cute and easy to use because you don't have to untie and retie the bow. The set also comes with this booklet. It tells you a bit about Claudia and her hobbies. Claudia's not sure what kind of career she should pursue. She doesn't think she has any talents. She thinks everyone around her is talented, but she can't find her own talent. So she keeps on trying different things like dancing or playing music. This is everything that came in the box, and I think it's a good value for the price. It's $36 for the set. I just wish the shoes were actual tap shoes. This outfit fits Claudia very well. It's super cute good quality, and looks great. I think this is the kind of stuff people are expecting for a 1920s collection. It wasn't necessarily worn by little girls, but I can see this as a performance outfit. The last item I'm gonna unbox today is this dress-up accessory set. It retails at $45. It does not really belong to Claudie. It belongs to Selma, a jazz singer who lives in the same boarding house as Claudie. Selma is nice enough to let Claudia use her things for dress up. I really like this hat box. This is very appropriate for the time period. Almost everyone was wearing hats those days. The stylized print on the box looks pretty awesome. And the box has a rope handle. The box itself is made out of sturdy cardboard. Here's a performance hat. It looks really, really cool. I think even a boy might be able to wear it. It's made out of thick felt and it holds its shape pretty well. I think it's gonna withstand play. Next item is this beautiful stole. It's made out of faux fur. So soft. Stoles were very popular in that time period. We also got this pearl necklace. Obviously the pearls aren't real, but they look realistic enough. Look how 
shiny. I really like this necklace. This set also comes with black tights, which is pretty weird. I don't know why they'd be with a dress up set. You think they might come with a set that has a dress. Anyway, they're pretty basic black tights. The last item in the set is this drawstring bag. It's made out of really nice fabric. It's kind of velvety, soft, and also shiny. The bag is decorated with beads. I think the design is really cute. It definitely looks period appropriate. This set comes with the same booklet as the Jazz Performance outfit. I think all this looks really good on Cotty. I wonder if she's gonna discover her dancing talent after all. In the beginning of the book, she has a very hard time with her dance lesson, and she doesn't think she's a good dancer. By the way, Cotty's second book is coming out next year. I can't wait to find out what happens next. The dress up accessory set is definitely on the expensive side. I kind of feel like it should have been less expensive. The pajama set was a really good price, but the performance accessories not so much. That's the only complaint I have. The quality seems great. Of course the tights will snag in no time if you don't pay attention, but that's how all of them are. Which of the items that I opened up today do you guys like the best? Let me know in the comments below. My favorite are definitely pajamas and Dizzy Dot. But the performance outfit and dress up accessories are also really cute. That's it for today, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all things American Girl but not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And turn on that notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday and Saturday, but right now I'm posting every day. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.